Welcome to the spoken tutorial on course administration in Moodle. In this tutorial, we will learn about course administration in Moodle, activities and resources in a course. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS 16.04, Apache, MariaDB and PHP obtained through XAMPP 5.6.0. Moodle 3.3 and Firefox web browser. You may use any web browser of your choice. However, Internet Explorer should be avoided as it causes some display inconsistencies. This tutorial assumes that your site administrator has set up a Moodle website and registered you as a teacher. Learners of this tutorial should have a teacher login on Moodle. At least one course assigned to them by the administrator. Some course material uploaded for their respective course. If not, please refer to the relevant Moodle tutorials on this website. Switch to the browser and open your Moodle site. Log in with your teacher username and password details. I am already logged in as teacher Rebecca Raymond. We are in the teacher's dashboard. In the navigation menu on the left, notice calculus under my courses. Please note, all the courses for which you are enrolled as a teacher or student will be listed here. Click on the calculus course. We updated the course topics and summaries in the preceding tutorials. If you didn't do so, please refer to the assignments of the preceding tutorials. We will now learn about some useful course settings. Click on the gear icon at the top right of the section. Click on Edit Settings. Then, Click on Expand All at the right to expand all the sections. The settings seen here were defined by the administrator when this course was created. In the general section, we have Course Full Name. This is the name displayed at the top of the course page. Course Short Name is the name displayed in the course navigation and in course related emails. Course category is already set by the admin. We can change course start date, course end date and course ID number as per our requirements. Under description section, see the course summary text box. I will delete the existing content and type the following. My students will see this on the front page of my course. Next comes the field Course Summary Files. These are the files that will be displayed to the students along with the course summary. By default, only JPG, GIF and PNG file types are allowed as course summary files. There are three ways to upload a file. Drag and drop the file in the box. Click on the Upload or Add icon at the top left. Click on the downward arrow. If you click on Upload or Add icon or on the downward arrow, the File Picker dialog box opens. Click on Upload a File option on the left menu. Click on the Browse or Choose File button. Then, select the desired file from your machine. I will select calculus.jpg from my system. You can give it a different name by typing it in the Save As field. Specify the author and license details in the respective fields. Lastly, click on Upload This File button at the bottom. 
So that's how we can upload course summary files. Next comes course format. Course format refers to the way resources and activities are organized for the students. There are four options in format dropdown. Single activity format, social format, topics format and weekly format. Our admin has selected topics format. We will let it remain as it is. Next setting is for hidden sections. These are basically topics in a course that can be kept hidden from students. This can be useful when there is a certain topic which is not yet completed by the teacher. This setting determines how to present the hidden sections to students. Choosing this option will display the content in collapsed form to the students. Choosing this option will hide the content from the students. We will let it remain as default for now. The next drop down is Course Layout. Click on it. We can choose to show all sections in one page by selecting this option. Another option here is Show one section per page. This will split the course over several pages depending on the number of sections. We will let it remain on Show all sections in one page for now. Next is the Appearance section. Notice the Show Gradebook to Students option. Many activities in the course allow teachers to assign grades. This option determines whether a student can see those grades. This option is set to Yes by default. We will let it remain as is. We will change Show Activity Reports as Yes, if not already selected by default. This ensures that a student can see his or her activity reports from his or her profile page. We can set the maximum size of the files that can be uploaded for this course. Files can be uploaded for additional materials, assignments, etc. Our admin has set this to 128 MB, which is the maximum file size. Let us keep the size as it is. We will let all the other settings remain at their default values. Scroll down and click on the Save and Display button. We are brought to the course page. Notice the announcements link above the topic names. This will let the students know about mandatory information, latest news, announcements, etc. Click on the gear icon at the top right of the page and then on Turn Editing On. Note, you need to turn the editing on to make any changes to the course. Now, to the right of Announcements, click on Edit and then Edit Settings. And in description, I will type the following text. Please check the announcements regularly. Check Display Description on Course Page. This will display the description just below the link. Leave all other settings as they are. Scroll down and click on the button Save and Return to Course. We come back to the course page. To add more announcements, click on the Announcements title. Now click on Add a New Topic button. Type the subject as Minimum requirements. Type the message as This course requires you to submit a minimum of three assignments and attempt five quizzes to pass. Notice that the checkbox Discussion Subscription is checked and is non editable. This is because everyone enrolled in the course is compulsorily subscribed to it. 
Next is attachments. You can either drag and drop or upload related files here. If you want the announcements to show up at the top of the forum, click on pinned checkbox. I will tick it. Tick the next checkbox as well. This will send a notification to everyone subscribed to this forum immediately. Expand the next section, Display Period. The settings here determine if this forum post should be visible for a date range. By default, these are disabled. It means the posts will always be visible. We will let the default settings remain. Scroll down and click Post to Forum button. A success message is displayed. Post authors have 30 minutes to make any changes to the posts. Let me click on Calculus link in the breadcrumb. Let me now add a page with detailed syllabus to this section. Click on Add an activity or resource link at the bottom right of the general section. From the list of resources, choose Page. Read the description of this activity that will appear when you make the choice. Then click on the Add button at the bottom. We are brought to a new page. In the Name field, type Detailed Syllabus. I will leave the description text box blank because the title is self-explanatory. I will enter the detailed syllabus of this calculus course in the page content text box. This content is available in the code files link of this tutorial. You can download and make use of it while practicing. Scroll down and click on Save and Return to Course button. We come back to the course page again. We will now log out of our account. To do so, click on the user icon at the top right. Now choose Log Out option. Let me show you how this page will look like to a student. I have a student ID Priya Sinha with me. This student has also been enrolled in the calculus course by the admin. I have logged in as student. Priya Sinha. Now I will click on Calculus on the left. This is how a student will view this page. Notice that there is no gear icon at the top right of this page. This is because students cannot edit any part of the course. We will now log out of the student ID. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned about course administration in Moodle, activities and resources in a course. Here is a small assignment for you. Add a new page resource detailing the course outcome. Refer to the assignment code file of this tutorial for details. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial project is funded by NMEICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown. This script has been contributed by Nancy and Priyanka. And this is Nancy Verki along with the Spoken Tutorial team signing off. Thanks for joining.